to this virtual service of lessons and carols here at the Duke of York Royal Military School. We are delighted that you could join with us. At this Christmas time, let us prepare ourselves to hear again, in word and song, the good tidings of God's redeeming love, made known to us through the birth of the Holy Child of Bethlehem. And with the angelic host, let us give glory to God in the highest. But first, let us pray for the needs of the world, for peace and goodwill on earth, for unity and brotherhood within the Church, especially in this military chapel of St Michael and St George, for love and harmony in our school, our families and our homes, and for a blessing on all who are dear to us, and for loved ones far from home. Let us also remember at this time those for whom Christmas brings little joy, the poor and homeless, the hungry and destitute, the sick and those who mourn, and all who suffer under tyranny and oppression. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the Word made flesh, and whom with Lord Jesus we are forever one. Let us gather up these prayers in the Word which Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless us with his grace, and may Christ grant us all the joy of everlasting life. Amen. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them.
and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news, a great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you, and you will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed. But Mary treasured all these words, and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God, for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them.
four outer ones surrounding the fifth inner one. The four outer candles remind us of those who prepared for the coming of Christ. The patriarchs, the prophets, John the Baptist and the Virgin Mary. The fifth candle represents Christ. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, light of light, you have come amongst us. Help us who live by your light to shine as lights in your world. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was afraid, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them, where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men, and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left to their own country by another way.
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own and his own people did not accept him, but to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. Please bow your heads as we ask for God's blessing. May the spirit of Christmas bring us peace. The gladness of Christmas give us hope. The warmth of Christmas grant us love. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us and remain with us always, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you.